Oh, good morning everybody, it's uh, DC again here. I uh, just want to have a look at some figures, uh, numbers, number crunching. But uh, one of the main items with this Gerard motor now is um, I've been studying Nikola Tesla for about 15 years and uh, I think I might have discovered something using uh, Gerard's motor. Um, we've got the normal setup here with uh, the pump, the transformer. I've worked it out that this transformer is giving out about 25,000 volts. So what I've done here, I don't know whether you can see this, I'll try my best. We've got a, an ordinary fluorescent tube. That's just an ordinary fluorescent tube there. I think it's five foot long. And I've just, I've just coiled some copper wire around it. It's a nail wire that you'd get you know, an electric motor. And I've connected one point here at the end to one of the caps, yeah? And one point here, yeah? So what we've got, it's like a big spark gap. The tube, the fluorescent tube's like a big spark gap. We've got the normal spark gap here, yeah? But then we've got another spark gap, so there's two spark gaps. And I found something very interesting that uh, we pump, pump 25,000 volts through this, but it, it's in enabling a, a current to flow through this, yeah, to, to earth. Now this, this red wire, this red wire here comes across the workshop floor, is actually, this wire is just connected to earth, it's a clean earth wire. Okay, and I've got my multimeter between the earth wire and the fluorescent tube. Well, the coil. So that's here, it comes down here, yeah, to the probe. Okay, yeah. So it's fascinating what's going on here because it's at, this is actually proving over unity. Um, uh, now then, I, this may be a bit difficult to see, but I've got a, a, a watt meter here, yeah? I hope you can see that, yep, yeah, hopefully that's it. All right, so it's just consuming a, a little bit of electricity now because the power unit's just switched on. But this, this is the, the main source of checking the overall consumption. Okay, um, well, let me just tell you what I think's going on. Okay, I'm calling this the Gerard warp motor. <laughs> okay, so this diagram here shows the Earth. So you've got the North Pole, the South Pole, and there we've got the old current bum, the Sun, there. And under the pretext of an electrical universe, basically we've got electricity coming off the Sun. So we've got protons and we've got, we've got power coming off the sun, yeah? And the electrons hit the North Pole and the South Pole because the Earth is basically iron. And here at the North Pole you have Northern Lights. Well, Northern Lights are just ionisation of ions, which is what's going on in a fluorescent tube, basically. So. You've got the northern lights and the southern lights and the, the earth. So basically what, what I'm suggesting is the earth is turned by the sun. The power of the sun, the electric power of the sun is actually turning the earth, which is a motor. This is what I've come to understand anyway. So if you can just think about that and, th and think about what's going on inside this tube. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to switch it on and have a look at what's going on with the multimeter. Okay, we've got a spark gap here. I'm just going to turn the lights off for a second. <coughs> okay. We set it. 37.6 volts 
Yeah. Now, according to this, it's drawing about one amp. Yeah? But I think that's wrong. So, I'm just going to turn the light back on. Because if you go back to the source, yeah? It's about 29 watts. 29 watts. That's what, it, what it's drawing. Okay, so tw 29 watts. Now, if we just look at the... Let's see what the meter's reading here. Now, we're, we're set on amps here. So I don't know whether you can see that. It's about half an amp. Now, the, the, uh, that's half an amp that's going to earth. From from the from this coil, which isn't connected to anything, yeah, that's just looped, looped around the fluorescent tube. So the measurement, yeah, is is between here and here, if you like, which is Earth. Yeah, those are the two points. But we're getting like half an amp. So I just want to look at the voltage now. I'm switching over to voltage. I don't know whether you can see that. It's showing up <laughs> over 500 volts. So that's 500 volts at half an amp. That's quite a kick. But if you if you look at the consumption. It's 30 watts, so I'm going to call this the warp drive because the warp drive is producing more than it's actually drawing. So there you go folks.